Hey guys, welcome to the, another Game Tech Super Sham video. In this video, I'll be, I'll be showing you guys how to um, say OK Google on your computer or laptop and search something, and it's actually really cool. In, uh, prior to this update, you could only do it on you know your phone or your tablet, but uh, I'm going to be showing you how you can do it on any computer or any laptop. So first, you obviously have to get Google Chrome. It's a browser. You can get it at google.com slash chrome. And once you get it, uh, go ahead and click on the settings icon in the top right. Click on it and click on about Google Chrome. This should lead you to this website and you should be at the most up-to-date version after you install. But if you're not, check it that you have version 35. And it doesn't matter about the M. The M is just something completely random. Uh, as long as you have version 35, this will work. So you can go ahead and close out of that. And what we need to do now is go to settings again, click on settings this time right above the about Google Chrome button. Click on show advanced settings and in under the privacy section you have all these random things. You want to go to down to the last check mark. Enable OK Google to start a voice search. And it's pretty self-explanatory. On your new tab page or on Google.com. You can just say OK Google and it starts a voice search. Click on it and it says, when you say OK Google, Chrome will search for what you say next. And you can uh, click on the check mark if you want to, if you're a little bit like privacy, you know, you, you care about it, you can unclick it. It doesn't really matter. Go ahead and click OK and it will set it up in about, you know, a minute. I'd say it was stable and it was ready and stuff. And so if you go to, you know, google.com now, at the uh, right, right here, it says, say, OK, Google. Oh, no, I did it. And if you say that, according to Wikipedia, I don't know who that was. But if you say that, then it will um, just search for what you say next. For example, let's say you're doing a research project and you're like, OK, Google, what is a dog? Here are the listings for Dollar General near Bono. As you can see, it didn't really work. It's not as reliable as a phone or a tablet, but okay, Google, what is a dog? Dog, a domesticated carnivorous mammal that typically has a long snout, an acute sense of smell, and a barking, howling, or whining voice. It is widely kept as a petter for work or field sports. So clearly, it's pretty good. It even, it even explains what the thing is, just like on you know your mobile device. You can scroll down, you can take a look at stuff, and then let's say you're like, wait a minute, I want to know what a cat is. You can just, in the middle of the page, you'll all of a sudden say, okay, Google, what is a cat? Cat, a small domesticated and carnivorous boom, mammal. It explains to you what a cat is. And uh, you can do this from the new tab page as well. Okay, Google. What's a dog? Dog, a domestic And it does the exact same thing. So, you know, it's a really great tool to quickly get off a of search because you can talk faster than you can type normally. And it's really useful if you're doing like research, if you want to quickly, you know, quickly just research something on your computer. You can do this on any laptop, any computer that has Google Chrome, you know, the latest version, and you just have to enable that setting which we went to by clicking on the settings, going to settings, advanced settings under privacy, clicking the last check mark. So that's about it for this video, guys. I'll be having another video coming up pretty soon, maybe a couple days, maybe even today, just because there's been some, you know, updates with Google. But this is the first of the videos about Google. So thanks for watching it. I hope you I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a like if it helped you. If it didn't, be sure to comment. Do not press the other button. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.